Hey, welcome back, everybody. My guest tonight is an Emmy and Tony award-winning actress you know from Fatal Attraction, Damages, and The Wife. Her latest film is Hillbilly Elegy. I ain't gonna live forever. Who's gonna take care of this family when I'm gone? No, I thought your mama was gonna be all right. Be happy, do good. But she got tore up around here. She just up and quit. She just stopped trying. I know. I could have done better. But you, you got to decide. You want to be somebody or not? Please welcome back to a late show, Glenn Close. Hi, Glenn. Thanks for being here. Hi. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. I wish we were in the same room. But soon enough. Soon enough. Knock wood. Knock wood. Yeah. Now, uh, I have to ask, I want to ask this uh, of almost all my guests. One of the only nice things about this entire thing is that some people are lucky enough to be able to work where they want to right now. Where in the world are we finding you? You're finding me in Montana. Oh, that's I've lovely. Been here. It is. I've been very lucky. I've been here since February. I have not gone anywhere except a little bit out of town where I can hike up into the National Forest, and it's kept me sane. Well, what have you been doing to occupy yourself? I mean, it, it, like there, there's very little production. There's no live theater. What have you been doing to keep yourself oh, going? Theater. Well, periodically I try to make myself laugh. So I, I have these characters that I've invented. I've done a, a, a few of them. Really, actually, actually, one has been um, kind of on Instagram, but otherwise, they're they're pretty unknown. So it's, I just they're just uh, for you, just to work. They're just, just, they're just for me and, and certain friends. <laughs> just to just to work out material or kick out the jams. I think we have a clip of is this Dag? Who is Dag? Before oh, Dar. Was, sorry, Dar. This is Dar. Dar from Boca. Okay. Dar from Boca, and she's one of the 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 real. Um, she, her expertise is in Darnell wigs. She has a lot of wigs. What's that? What's and she a, also loves to sing "Happy Birthday" to a lot of to her friends. What's Darnell? What's a Darnell wig? Darnell wig is a wig that isn't real hair. Okay. Jim, yeah. Jim, hit it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate cat. Happy birthday. Do you make these for friends and send them to them? That was for my manager, Christian. <laughs> but the thing is, I didn't know that that candle was one of those horrible fake candles that keep coming up. I didn't know that. So that's real surprise. It's also quite dangerous when you're wearing a wig that is not real hair, because I'm sure- That's true, I'm sure and you're, gloves. Yeah, you're, I'm sure you're just wearing petroleum products on your head. Now that reminds me, she, is that there's a little, the look has got a little bit of a Cruella de Vil to her. That's true. Yeah, yes. she likes animal prints. She also likes camo. We have one other clip here. You, um, you, have, you actually have a little Cruella de Vil right here. What is going on with Cruella oh. in this footage? <laughs> Um, I was invited by Bette Midler, who has this fantastic uh, um, nonprofit in New York, um, the New York uh, Restoration Project, to be part of her Hulaween. And she had written me this very funny, funny, funny skit. So I put together what I could of Cruella in my house. I got online, got a Cruella wig, um, but that, that I, I, I painted a chopstick to be my cigarette holder and um, put baby powder on my face, not to great effect. Um, Wait, and you actually went online and bought like a Halloween costume shop, Cruella de DeVille wig? Yes. <laughs> and the long gloves with the black nails. But then I realized you couldn't see it. So I had to, I cut off the tips of a pair of red gloves and put the, 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 the black nails through it. Um, and then I got, oh yeah, I had eyelashes, but I realized after I got home, that I didn't have glue, so I just got, you know, Elmer's glue and put him, put on my lashes, but maybe not the smartest thing in the world, but it did come off okay. 
Um, and around my neck was a, a pair of long underwear that was a leopard print, silky long underwear. And um, the coat actually is a coat I wore in The Wife. Um, well, and, uh, we, have, we have the final product right here, Jim. On the DeVille family tree, you'll find Millicent DeVille, my great, 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 great grandmother, who lived in Salem, Massachusetts from 1643 to 1692. <laughs> she was the first woman to be waterboarded for being a witch. <laughs> a constant source of inspiration. <laughs> How much... <laughs> How much do does the does a uh, the wardrobe does the costume inform your character? Is it the final cloak on the character, or I, I know some performers who actually use the costume like, well, like the mask actually transforms them. Like I don't know exactly sure if I understand it, but I've heard about masks and trance. Like you wear the mask or the the wardrobe itself, and that and then that starts to inform how you feel, and you follow that feeling. How how do you work? Well, I I've played several characters over the years that by the time you do all the make makeup, the hair, you get into the costume, you look up and you say, ah, there she is. Mama in, in um, Hillbilly Elegy was like that. Oh. Albert Knobs was like that. Cruella was like that. Uh, Norma Desmond was like that. And I've always considered a costume designer to be as important a collaborator as a director. And, and I think it's a, an art which really gets kind of short shrift so I've kept all my costumes. Uh, they're out at the uh, Indiana University. But um, to set, especially for a character like Mamma, which is nothing like me, I actually begin with not wanting to be distracted by my own face. So then you do very, very subtle things because you don't want people to say, oh, there's Glenn Close with a bad nose. You know, you, you try to, it's a very refined, concentrated uh, process that we go through to just make the subtle changes that all of a sudden you do look up and you say, ah, there she is. Glenn, we have to take a quick break, but stick around, everybody. We'll be right back with more of Glenn Close. Hey. 